Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to tell you about this truck, the JMC Vegas Pro or Vegas Pro. Not sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, it is quite possibly the cheapest pickup truck you can buy right now in the market. It's priced at 98,000, 99,000 if you're going to register it under your company. I know there are some other cheaper ones as well, but bear with me. This is a full four door pickup truck. It's automatic and it's pretty all right. The rest though are the utilitarian ones. The, the ones that you know you find in estates and such. Those that have two doors are manual. This is a proper pickup truck and priced at 98,000 ringgit. So today I want to tell you about this pickup truck and why it doesn't quite do it for me. Let's take a walk. JMC. JMC is basically Jiang Ming Motor Company or Jiang Hing Motor Company, one of those names. It's from China. However, in Malaysia though, it's assembled by the Tan Chong Group uh, at the assembly, assembly plant here in Malaysia. Uh, sorry, a bit dirty. That's how I picked up the truck and I only got to keep it for a day and don't quite have time to go and send it for a wash and such. So, in terms of design, let's start with that. It's actually not a bad looking truck, right? Those daytime running lights out there, pretty good. I, I actually quite like them. The headlights, they say they're supposed to mimic the eyes of a tiger. Not sure how that works. The design overall is also supposed to mimic that of a prowling tiger. Not sure how that works either, but that is marketing lingo for you. Uh, overall, Design is pretty bold, small slit over here. Design is pretty bold, there's no doubt about it. You can, you notice the arch fenders and the squared out wheel wells. Haven't seen that in a while. This is probably something that you would see in some, the likes of older pickup trucks or something like a Mahindra. Not a bad touch, it's very classic. Check out the, the flat arches. These are not your simple bolt-on ones that you can buy at your local accessory shop. These are proper wheel welds, flat arches, I mean. And then these things over here, this is quite unique also. Reminds me of pickup trucks of old, where you, these are basically mounting points la, where you can tie down stuff and such. Even the rear brake lights are protruding out. They're not flush with the body, but they protrude out this way. Not bad. So, see there's a lot of protruding protruding things over here. From the back though, it's just very regular la, in terms of design. It's not bad, but it's not very exciting either. Uh, at the back, of course, you get your reverse camera over here, which is full of dust. And it doesn't have any support whatsoever in terms of uh, assist, assisted tailgate. So you just get these things with these hinges and that's about it. Even the back of the truck is pretty basic. It's, it's basically like a 90s pickup truck. Like, let's just put it that way. So yeah, it's capable of ca carrying up to... Wow, that's quite heavy. Up to 850 kilograms. This is a uh, load carrying capacity. Uh, it comes with 16 inch Maxxis Bravo tires. All terrain, of course, not so bad. Uh, in terms of suspension, you get multi link at the front and leaf, leaf spring suspension at the back. Very traditional as well. And in typical pickup truck fashion, the spare tire is at the bottom. You also get these, these bars over here which mount the which provides the housing for the third brake light. So in terms of design, it's love it or hate it la. It's not ugly, it's not that grand either. It's okay. You, know? you get these sensors up here. Hope you can see the sensors over here. I'm guessing that's for headlights, automatic headlights, or even for automatic rain wipers. 
which I don't think this car has. Let's check out the engine. Let's turn it off, otherwise it will be just too noisy. Where do I open? There you go. Oh, this is made of plastic. I reckon that might break. Anyway, the interior, I'll get to that later. So this is the engine. A 2 liter turbocharged engine, a Puma engine sourced from Ford. It's connected to an 8-speed gearbox, ZF gearbox. Uh, and power-wise, it's, it's alright. It's, it's not the last word in terms of power. It produces about 145 horsepower and about 300-something newton meters of torque, if I'm not mistaken. Power-wise, it produces about 145 uh, horsepower and about 350-340 newton meters of torque. It's connected to a, as I said earlier, a ZF gearbox, and uh, economy is the name of the game, lah. When it comes to this engine, and uh, I also appreciate the fact that it comes with gas struts. This is much welcome. Perhaps comes from the partnership with Ford, or uh, not quite sure if it's just a partnership or they sourced these things from Ford. But yes, this is a Ford source engine. Uh, this is the same engine that you'll find in the uh, likes of the XLTs and such. This is a Puma engine, not the Panther engine, which you'll find in the uh, Waltrek. Right, so that's the engine. Let's go inside. It's actually quite a hot day. Let me start off, start up the aircon. Notice this key. Can't remember the last time I used the key to start a car. Keyless everything is nowadays. So that's welcome. So this is the interior. If you're thinking, actually there are two things that uh, struck me as soon as I got inside. First things first was how basic it is. And secondly is, I thought I've seen this interior before, some parts of the interior at least, and that's because there are design elements in this car that have obviously been copied from somewhere else. Do you think you've seen this this uh, gear selector? Or how about this brake lever, handbrake lever? Or how about this steering wheel? They all look familiar because they've been they're somewhat similar to the ones in the Peugeot. Yes, previous generation Peugeots had a gear selected that way, same handbrake and the same odd shaped steering wheel. Even the fonts are very much like that of a Peugeot. Even the buttons. So this is typical Chinese designers, I guess. They are always looking for inspiration from other car makers. This is something that you see in your cars, something that you see in your bikes. A typical uh, Chinese design. Anyway, it's a very regular design inside here. Typical analog meter panel with a digital meter panel in the middle here. Um, this is touch screen. So you select from here. There's no music, no USB. This doesn't come with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, so I'm not too too big of a fan. But in terms of the user interface, this is actually quite easy to use. What's most important is ease of use. Uh, so no doubt, very easy to use. Then this is, of course, the turn on and off button. You only get one USB slot though. That's it. That's the only USB slot you get. You do have this panel over here, but there's nothing in there. A bit boring. Huh? And then this typical uh, dials over here for your air conditioning controls. You get heated side mirrors, which is uh, great, but probably better used in colder climates. 
these buttons are obviously uh, very obvious just to control the four-wheel drive system which is sourced by Borg Warner Borg Wagner something like that and uh, this is to turn off your uh, parking sensors which is always helpful uh, especially in pickup trucks modern pickup trucks it's quite difficult to park some of them because they're actually quite big and this is watch this is to fold in your side mirrors and this is your hill descent control this is your traction control and you get some key slots over here my hand sanitizer here and a more storage space over here you get this part here it's quite small that's it seat is uh, no leather seats in here 100 percent fabric uh, comfortable yes but that's it not very adjustable so i reckon sitting on this for very for an extended period of time could be very uncomfortable um, in terms of everything else you get the switches feel the switches feel a bit cheap but that's it lah it's not there's nothing great inside here actually this is a typical utilitarian pickup truck you know? um, in terms of rear space let me adjust this seat this seat looks about right so let's go see if my six foot frame would fit in the back seat of this Vegas Pro check it out looks a bit cramped but yeah this is a typical pickup truck sitting position from the 90s it feels like I'm sitting slightly above the front passengers so I get a good view up front uh, and I think it's true that I'm sitting above because the floor feels a bit higher than the front so that's my camera bag and as you can see it's very very basic from here you can get a better view of the dash isn't it very basic it is quite basic you just get you just get the basics like basically <laughs> that's one way to put it i appreciate uh, sunglasses sunglass mounts over here you don't even get a, a vanity mirror none oh the passenger gets one but this looks like it came off a 1995 proton but yes in terms of uh, design in terms of features it's very basic la. but keep in mind this is a 98,000 ringgit pickup truck so if you're looking for something uh, if you're looking for something to run to run about on, uh, to run your business in and such this is not a bad buy but it remains to be seen uh, in terms of after sales support it remains to be seen how the company will uh, will support in terms of uh, spare parts it, the company is still very very new in Malaysia so uh, it still remains to be seen they're hoping to sell over 300 units by December I think they sold about 40 or 50 units already but so it remains to be seen let's go outside again in terms of design it's very basic like it or hate it lah. so yeah that is the GMC Vegas Pro and uh, I did my research and the closest thing that comes to this in terms of pricing is an Isuzu D-Max 1.9 that's priced at about 108 or 110 I think so roughly about 12,000 ringgit more than the Vegas Pro so which makes this if if price is a concern for you and you're looking for the best deal in the market right now there's no doubt that this is a pretty good deal but that's where it ends so yeah thank you for watching do consider subscribing uh, there's always extra motivation for me to bring you more such videos and yeah talking to you today about the JMC Vegas Pro